Welcome back to another day in the life vlog. Uh, if you are new here, my name is Sydney. I am a stay at home mom to four kids, five and a half year old twin boys, a two year old boy and a seven week old baby girl. As you guys saw from the little clips, we are, we were setting up the room for getting our king bed. We decided to upgrade to a king. We had a queen. We wanted to have a king for a little bit. And then um, Eliana is right there. She's testing out the bed. <laughs> We actually went to look for some this past weekend and we found one we really loved and we only purchased the bed frame and the mattress. Uh, we do co-sleep with Eliana, which was one of the reasons we wanted a king just to feel more safe with her on the bed with us. I'm a super light sleeper so I can feel her. She's just really close to me so I've always felt safe with her being on the bed with us. Um, anyways, today I am gonna put the sheets and the comforter on the bed. Um, show you guys a little close up once we have everything set up and I'm gonna have a girls date later today. I'm super excited. First time I kind of go out without Eliana. I hope you guys stay tuned and I will see you guys in a little bit. You like the bed mommy? Yeah. Is it nice and comfy? <laughs> Eliana, say hi. Say hello. <laughs> ¿Qué pasó, mamá? ¿Qué pasó? Hey! <laughs> so this is the bed frame that we chose. We got it from a discount um, furniture store, so I don't think I can link it. Um, but maybe I'll uh, link one that's similar. It's really, really detailed, and I love this material. They said it's really easy to clean, and... Um, so I'm super excited about that. Don't have to worry about like dusting it or anything. This is the mattress that we got. The one that we got, um, we can like flip it and double-sided so we can always flip this so it can last a little longer. And we just have to maybe recenter that part in the top. Super exciting. I'm gonna put on the new comforters that we got and set this up in a little bit.
is that Fox Lobo? Wait, is Fox Lobo? I think, yeah. a, I think Lobo's a wolf. Good job, mommy. previous clips um I did go to Eliana she had her two-month appointment today which is what we were doing a little bit ago she has grown so much um she's officially 10 pounds six ounces and then she was 21 inches long so she is getting a little chunky and her newborn look her newborn um phase is feel like is officially over um, cause she's starting to look more and more like a baby and not a little tiny baby newborn. And it's definitely bittersweet because as a lot of you know, if you have been following along, um, she is our last baby and yeah, I am just cherishing each new milestone, each moment that she's growing and just her little smiles. She's definitely a lot more smiley these days and just more observant um i guess this is kind of like a little baby update <laughs> but yeah she is just been our greatest little blessing and we're just so so grateful that she's healthy and um she just fits right into our family our boys absolutely love her and adore her liam is always giving her little kisses as much as he can <laughs> and like always asking for little hugs and um just super sweet sometimes i have to tell him to be a little bit more um gentle but overall he's he's really careful with her for the most part yeah that has been fun we have been home for a little bit already my husband was watching liam while i was at her appointment she's right here uh I'm just carrying her, um, poor little girl. She, th she got three shots today and one oral, um, one oral vaccine, I believe. So she was not really happy with any of that. Um, so I'm probably maybe to see how she is, give her Tylenol later if she's like showing signs of pain or, um, if she gets like a little fever. Um, she did mention that I can give her a little bath, which I usually do with, um, with them when they get shots. So she'll probably get a bath later. <laughs> but anyways, I am just here um, hanging out with Liam in the playroom. And I think what I'm gonna do um, to finish up the vlog today is probably declutter her newborn clothes and kind of set up her, um, she's already fitting into three to six months clothes, you guys. And she's not even two months officially yet. She turns two months this upcoming Sunday 
and she's fitting into zero to three months, but also three to six months, which is insane to me. I feel like she's been the one that has grown the fastest out of all my kids, um, especially the twins. They were preemies. Yeah. <laughs> and another thing I wanted to talk about, I am um, exclusively breastfeeding, but I have been trying to introduce bottles to her and she just, she likes it some days and then some days she doesn't take it at all. Um, this past weekend, I had my first girls date with some cousins that I hadn't seen in a while. And I had to kind of leave a little early because she wasn't taking the bottle anymore. Um, she had taken the first one, but my husband mentioned that she was still kind of hungry and she just not what, yeah, I know. And she just wouldn't take the other one and was just, really fussy and hungry. I'm still trying to um, pump once in a while and then give her the bottle. Um, we've tried the Komotomo brand. The Yeah, Bobby. One of my cousins, Alondra, um, she let me have some of her man bottles since she had extra and she kind of liked those a little bit better than the Komotomo. So we're gonna keep trying. I may show a little glimpse of her trying to take it later just um i know if some of you mamas are going through the same thing so i'm gonna put this little girl down stretch her little legs a little bit um because she's been on this carrier for a bit so you did it wow that was fast that's it oh get a stretch get a stretch you got it, Bobby? You can do it. Oh, she's still sleepy. Can you just leave her there? Tell her Mina. Mama's like a mad face. Let's go change. Yay! Bobby, it's a night night. It's not night. <laughs> oh, did he do caca? Did he do caca? Did he do caca? Did he do caca? Did I smell something. Baby's waking up. Baby girl's waking up. Oh. Liam just loves to cuddle up with her. Any chance he gets, he wants to kiss her, even if she's like falling asleep. Mm. <laughs> mm. Gentle puppy. Mm. Aww. Wait, we have boo boo. Baby has a boo boo. Yeah. We got a little stain right there. Oh, okay, puppy. Thank you. <laughs> I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Hi. Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting <laughs> But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby So stuck, I kept on playing my part, wanting to give up cause nothing was changing. But with you it's so clear, and now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum. Guess I finally learned my lesson. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever. 
Alright, so this is some of the clothes that I am getting rid of along with that over there. Um, so I'm just going to put that in a little bag and start getting rid of her clothes. So bittersweet. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to share the new uh, pillows that we got. Um, we got some king size pillows and then those Euro shams from Target the other day. And it truly does make a difference, you guys. Um, I still need to center that right there. It's a little like not even, but um, I'm debating whether to leave it like with those de decorations or switch it. Um, that's why I haven't changed it yet. But overall, I absolutely love it. Super comfortable, the mattress. <laughs> and there's Eviana modeling. Hey, mama. So yeah, I thought I would just share that with you guys. Super, super grateful for the quality of the like mattress and everything. So, so worth it, in my opinion. So this is a little bit later, um, pretty much evening, and my husband's putting the boys down to sleep. I usually take care of Eviana and he puts uh, Liam down and either uh, him or I will put Aaron and Noah down um, but he's getting all three of them right now I already read to them and I finished this little what I was able to get done today is declutter her Eliana's newborn clothes and some zero to three months because they were all fitting a little um, a little snug on her so I wasn't really able to get much done today because Oh, because baby girl was really fussy today. I think it was because of her her shots. Um, she was really, I think, in pain from the the soreness and stuff earlier. Um, after she she was napping pretty much all day, so we had to we ended up giving her a little bit of Tylenol. The doctor said we could, and that seemed to help her a little bit. <laughs> right, mommy. I think I may take her a little bath right now just to calm her down. Hi, mommy. Another thing is that she actually slept in her bassinet today, which she hadn't, and it's so long. Um, we we do co-sleep with her, so usually I lay her down on her bed when, we, when she naps, or I'll carry her, and she was just so tired and fatigued that she actually napped in her little bassinet with her swaddle. Um, I think I'm gonna end it here. I don't wanna ramble your ears off. Thank you so much if you made it all the way to the end. I hope this kept you entertained for a little bit. Um, be sure to leave a thumbs up if you made it this far. It truly means a lot and I appreciate you guys. Um, subscribe if you are new here and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.